All right. Hey everybody, it's Karen from Artfall Acrylics. I just asked my husband if he'd be willing to introduce me, and he's like, show my face on camera? No way. <laughs> How are you guys? Where's the dot? I'm back uh, from my uh, lovely adventure in London. Um, gonna do a pour tonight. I'm all excited. I have eight colors. Insanity. Eight colors. And that's because I bought a bunch of basically every color they had of the PBO Studio Acrylics. And I couldn't pick, so I'm like, let's just do them all. Before we get started, let me show the results from the last two videos. Um, so the last video, we were uh, doing Jilly Cubes um, style with um, cells and the um, balloon kisses. This is the first one here. It's super pretty and cute and happy, and uh, it turned out really great. It dried great, too, while I was gone. So uh, really quite happy with this one. Um, I like this one because it's very balanced, the color-wise, composition-wise, just enough little space in the middle to calm your eye. Um, so yeah, we're super happy with this one. The, um, that's the 12 inch. The 10 inch, it's nice. It's, it's a little too black for me, like up in here. It might not live, I hadn't pulled the tape off yet. I, it might not live to see the day, I might pour over it. It's just not, uh, it doesn't have the pizzazz of the first one. You know, it's fine. It's just fine. So there's that one. And then I had uh, leftover paint and I lost my gold and most of my black. Um, but I actually got a painting. This is a 16 inch round where it's kind of tough to do sometimes. I mixed red and white and actually kept a lot of the red which is this guy here and go back like this. I don't know the orientation yet, um, but kind of cool. This looks amazing. Um, we have light blue walls in our living room and the red with the light blue, the blah, 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 <laughs> with the light blue looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, there's just like tiny little hints of the gold and little spots. Look at that cell there um, and a couple spots, but overall it's basically uh, red and paints gray uh and white so there was that guy and then so yeah so it's 10 12 16 and then from the pre previous video where i decided not to do to do i can't talk uh the balloon kisses was this one here that seems upside down which i really really like this i love the blank here um with the purpley cells the colors are just very unusual um, different looking to me. That's the bottom there. Um, really nice overall look to that guy. Um, super thrilled with him. This is the one that was done on that um, fancy Windsor Newton uh, canvas where you can tighten up the stretcher bars. Um, so it's like nice and sturdy. I haven't decided what kind of uh, varnish to give it. Um, I wouldn't resin um, a canvas that size, so it'll get a varnish. Is that all I had to show you? There's my stack behind me of uh, when I'm done filming, I'm gonna do uh, like 10 pieces of resin tonight too. It's gonna be late night. Let me get you guys down. So tonight I have a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. It's looking crooked. Come on, stay there, stay right there. Tighten that up so it stops jiggling pretty good uh usual pouring medium i've been stuck on this i haven't been experimenting with the pouring medium because this one works so well so it's the usual for a 12 four ounces of water eight ounces of golden color pouring medium gloss 12 ounces of elmer's glue oil and then i'll just show you all the colors i'm not going to go there's eight colors um suffice to say six of them like i said are the um PBO Studio Acrylics, the high viscosity, this stuff right here. They'll come up on your screen as I go. And then I have to give a shout out to Michelle. Uh, she's a gal, um, she was in town um, visiting with relatives and we've never met, but we decided to get together and we went um, art supply shopping together and she turned me on to these little paints called Lumiere by Jacquard. 
<laughs> it's all fancy. These are um, light body metallic acrylic paints. So I bought a bunch of these. This one that I'm using tonight is grape. And then another one is indigo, which you know how I feel about indigo. It's my favorite, favorite shade of blue. So I'm using these two tonight along with my PBOs. And then I bought a couple other colors to try out. I'm not using them tonight, but I also got a pearlescent turquoise. Turquoise. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up because I can't speak. And metallic bronze. <laughs> so uh, you'll probably see those in another video. Uh, big old giant measuring cup of the Artist Law Flow acrylic in white. And I'm gonna do a modified sandwich pour. Like I said, eight colors all ready to go. I'm just gonna start and add some white to these. Let me get rid of this giant stick. I'm kind of surprising myself that I'm filming and still willing to talk because I taught uh, four, did I do four today? I did four FaceTime uh, sessions, uh, walking through people with their, uh, their pores. Um, so thank you to those students. If you're interested in a FaceTime lesson, the details are on my Waterfall Acrylics Facebook page or just send me a message and we can chat. Uh, it's fairly easy. You don't have to have an iPhone, I don't believe, if you're an Android person. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, the gal, I, my last gal I did today, Renee, uh, she did most of it through her Kindle, which was kind of cool. So that's another option. If you don't have an iPhone, but you have a Kindle, you can still do it. All right, three cups of there. And I have these all ordered. And I just I'm gonna do a couple la layers, some white, couple layers, so more like a double decker sandwich. It's a BLT. It's a PLT with paint. I have to figure out what the L and T stand for, but what am I doing? That's only one one cup, Karen. So, lots and lots of layers. Yeah, so I've been uh, go, go, go ever since I got back. Um, teaching and uh, prepping things for resin, putting on the barrier coats. And, you know, running around and you always have to do the laundry when you come back. And, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't really don't have any London stories. We had a lovely time. We had lovely weather. It practically rained everywhere else in the country, uh, in England, except for London. Like it spit on us on Sunday. Oh gosh, I love those two colors together. But otherwise, um, it was, I don't know, high 60s, partly cloudy. And like I think I mentioned before I left, um, I met up with a girlfriend, and we both have lived there before, so we didn't feel a burning desire to run off and do touristy things. So we toured markets instead. We basically window shopped and ate our way through London. That's, that's how we spent our time. We briefly thought about going to the British Museum just to see all the stuff that they've stolen from other countries. Um, and we got there like at 10 o'clock in the morning just as they were opening and the line was uh, so long. We were like, yeah, let's skip it. But we hit, I think four markets. We went to Brick Lane. For those who aren't familiar with London, you're not gonna know these, but we hit Brick Lane, uh, Spitalfields, Camden, and Carnaby. Uh, And that was a lot of fun. I bought a cool purse. And, oh, I'm almost out of the orange, oh no. I must have orange for all three cups. Um, 
ate a bunch of really good Indian food. Um, I forgot the name of the restaurant. My girlfriend knew about it. Uh, it was just like this little hole in the wall that had fabulous Indian food. So we ate there twice. We had some good sushi and some pub food. Uh, yeah. It was nice to be back, however briefly. All right, that cup's gone. All right, look at this color. Oh my gosh. If this isn't, it's either gonna be a total mud fest or it's going to be a, a carnival of colors, I think. That's what I predict. Um, and the reason why I decided to use all of these is because all of these colors uh, are, are they all iridescent? I believe they all are. All of these are iridescent, which is very, very similar, if not the same as metallic paint. Like, you know, it doesn't have the flakes, but it does the same thing. And I was talking to one of my students, uh, Wendy, Hi, Wendy. Um, and she said to me that I was the only person she ever saw that put silicone in metallic paints because it usually breaks it up. And I had never heard of such a thing. I'm like, what? I was like totally surprised by that comment. I'm like, huh. The last time I used metallics with silicone is one back when I was doing the black and white series and so part of this pour you know go big or go home obviously is seeing if that holds true so if I wreck this painting and it all disintegrates uh, particularly on a, on this size canvas I'll have no one to blame but myself maybe I just got lucky the first time I don't know but seriously I've never heard of it uh, two more to go. Oh, green and purple. Oh no, this is blue. Is it blue or purple? No, it's blue. Did the purple already. Holy lot of colors. And I'm going to, I have a little, just a little, kind of a small layer of the white on the bottom. I'm gonna to have to put a larger layer on top, I think. Because I'm going through these colors quite quickly. So yeah, like in terms of stories, London was rather, uh, you know, uneventful that way. Um, I did call a guy who worked at one of the stalls at one of the markets, a wanker, which was fun because I knew what it meant. And I thought it'd be fun to like insult him using one of their own words. <laughs> but he was like, I was trying to, to like buy a t-shirt or something, something small. And I gave him my, my credit card and I happen to have a credit card that has a picture of me on the front of it. And he said something about, um, I need identification for your signature. And I didn't hear him right at first, you know, like, I guess I wasn't paying attention. I said, excuse me? He's like, well, I guess you guys don't have that yet. You must be 10 years behind. And I'm like, oh, the signature. And I said, it, it should, it's on the back of the card. He's like, well, of course, where else would it be? Or something, he said something smart. And I didn't appreciate it. And he said, do you have a driver's license so I can verify your signature? And I said, why don't you look at the front of the card? Because that's where my picture was. And he said, well, what good is that going to do me? And I'm like, you're a total wanker. Take a look at the front of the card. There's my face. And then that kind of shut him up. <laughs> and my girlfriend was like, oh God, oh God, oh God. Here she goes. Oh my God, I'm putting up with that buying something from this man. Yeah. I'm a nice person. I just don't suffer fools lightly, pretty much. 
Um, I'm just killing off the rest of the colors. Ooh, I'm splooging all over my hands. That and my flights uh, were uneventful. The flight over from Washington to London to Heathrow, it, um, I had a window seat and the middle seat was empty and then there was like a cute guy in the aisle seat. So that was nice. And you know, so we had, we both had a little extra room. And I hope this isn't TMI. Perfectly lovely flight. He was sleeping. I was watching movies and just a little bit of this red. And somebody somewhere, every half hour or so, was, how do I say it? Flash lady. <laughs> Flash lady, my husband said. Yeah, letting off SBDs. <laughs> and so, I spent most of the flight breathing through um, my little lap blanket that I, that I brought by. Um, because it was like you never knew when it was going to happen. And, you know, airlines or the airplanes were all recycled air. And every time I would forget about it, it would happen again. And it happened for the entire, like, six and a half hours. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And then on the way home... I was seated dead center of the plane, like smack in the center of economy, in the middle row, in the middle seat. And I had two guys on either side of me. And both of them were sitting like guys. If you know what that means, like I don't know what it is about men, but men can never just sit with their legs like this. They have to sit with their legs like this. So I have one on one side with their legs like this and the other one on the other side and I'm like squinched in the middle and that lasted about a half an hour and I basically, I'm like, I'm only giving this speech once. I tapped them both on the shoulder and said, hey guys, it's, you know, two against one. Can both of you like close your legs a little bit so I, I, can, I have a little bit of room and they both were like, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. But I was kind of proud of myself for speaking up because otherwise, I mean, they were just like, I don't know. I get that they need a little more space maybe, but it was ridiculous. Like, you know, when you have to sit with your shoulders hunched over and your legs crossed, I'm like, okay, make a little room. And, and that was, I was, I amused myself with that one. I thought, I was the only one who thought that was funny, obviously, because there's no, my girlfriend, she had uh, miles, so she was in economy plus. But, all right, I'm just making these all even, killing off all the white. That's a lot of colors, y'all. Holy moly. Where's my stick? And then we'll give these a flip. Ooh, that looks yucky. I'm not putting the rest of that in there. Nope. All right, let's put that off to the side somewhere. All right, we ready to do this? Oh boy. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. One, two, three. I'm debating if I want to drag them or uh, lift them straight up. Oh, I totally forgot to show you my consistency, which was kind of important tonight because I made it thinner. Like there was no trace to speak of because I also wanted, um, I didn't want to have, I wanted to do a sandwich pour, but not have to fight with the white to get the cells to come up from underneath. So I made my mix a bit thinner. Sorry, I forgot to show you. And I have um, three drops of silicone and six of the colors. I did not put it into the Lumiere colors. Just uh, 
just because I wanted to see how they were going to react. But, oh boy. I feel like I have to drag a little bit just because if I lift these puddles up, they're totally going to cram in uh, to each other. This isn't long, long enough uh, to do it. So let me, let me just kind of drag a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I don't like all those colors, so I am going to uh, lip it. And stop that one from running off. I don't know. I don't know if I like that one. We'll see. Let's lip this one too. I don't want straight lines. Oh gosh, I love that blue. <gasps> that I love. Pretty happy with my design. I feel like I want to run, run it through here one more time. Yeah. All right, let me just kill off this down the side here. No cells or very few, so that's good. Watching it meet up here. Spread out a little bit, plenty of paint. I just need to come off this side a little bit. My biggest empty spot is right here. And I just, you know, at the end of that last video before I left, I never did even see that uh, mustache. It was a good thing I went upstairs to like, you know, wash up and change. But even when I edited the video, I did not see that mustache. And I just splooge paint on myself again on my face and wiping it off because you guys can't see it. Ha ha. All right. Let's go this way a little bit. We're just gonna spread it out just a little bit before we torch. Just kind of go over this way a little bit. Get these two pieces to meet up, be neighbors. And maybe swing back this way. Over this way, meet up at the other side. All right. I like my crazy psychedelic pattern. Let's give it a tons of bubbles, man. Let's pop some bubbles. Whoa, what the heck was that? Did you guys see that? My torch freaked out. All right. To sew the whole thing up. Got a big bubble right there, though, and right there. All right, lots of cells. Um, plenty of paint on the canvas, so if things look cluttered, I should be able to pour things off. I like this side better than this side right right now, but we'll see. Let me get my corners first. This part right here is spectacular though. I'm gonna, don't you? Always, always on the edge. You paint such a tease that way. I'm gonna put the best cells right here. And get this other part right there, there we go. 
Let's see if I can save some of those cells because they were just fantastic. All right, work my way. I'm gonna stay, make sure I stay in frame. Work my way over here. I don't like this whole wiggly thing right there either. So that's gonna go. But I do like those aqua cells in the corner. So let me talk, talk about tilting for a second because I've been doing this with my uh, students as of late is um, Tilting, I, a lot of people just tilt too fast. Go slow, and if you're trying to get to a particular destination like this corner, instead of beelining for that corner, stair-step it. And by that I mean, pick up your canvas and you're gonna rock it back and forth while tilting down. So it's like three-step. You wanna keep it level like you're you know, flying a plane but you're gonna go back and forth this way and then tilt down. And you can see the weight of my paint here, it's gonna gravitate over that way. But by, by going back and forth, you'll help save the shape of your cells too. Let it float on top of your paint and get over there. This seems stuck on something, so I'm gonna give it a little help right there. I know I'm gonna lose those, but what are you gonna do? A little more. All right, off they go. I lost that wonky line, so that's good. And my cells are growing like crazy because my mix is thinner. This is so psychedelic, I'm kind of loving it. So I'm gonna come back. I don't want my lines to be straight. So let me stop, let me get in frame so you guys can see it all. Oh my gosh, happy, happy painting. Um, wipe off my fingers. I'm gonna flip it around to make it easier. Uh, what's that? So that top part looks great. doing down here everything's covered what do I need to really do that all looks fantastic it's a little busy I'm staring let me stare at it a second See how, how this part all has cells here, but then the stripes are just plain? Like I feel it would be more balanced if I had cells here and just a couple here. I really don't want to torch it though. Um, so I might just pour a little bit more that way. Um, just to put these little, this whole design just slightly uh, more in the center, maybe. Or I could pour off toward me and lose some cells and just have the the center be um, a little more empty and just have it be busy on the two ends. But man, I love this little area right here. Um, go toward you just a little bit. Let things slide. I'm getting some giant, giant cells. Move them up a little. And then I might take it down. I'm going to head over this way just to uncrowd this part. I don't mind if I lose some of this, as long as I don't need to lose the green. Wow, 
was making some big old cells. All right, that's enough. Let me stop and look some more. Deciding on my orientation. Everything's covered. Everything looks like pretty great, I gotta say. I see what people mean about the um, metallics or the iridescent paint. It doesn't really break up, but it is a little splotchy, some of the cells. I don't know, but for this particular painting, I think that works um, because it just shows uh, multicolored cells. I have a lot of them that are solid color and some of them just look like marbles. Um, like if you're looking in a marble, I think, I think I might be calling this done. The only thing I don't like that I'm gonna stick my finger in is this little white thing right there. It's bugging me. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but it's got, something's gotta give. Look at that. Not quite. So noticeable. Let me take one last look. And the other thing I don't like is this orange cell. <laughs> because I'm crazy. I don't know why. It needs to be smaller or something. So I'm going to make it smaller. Or get rid of it completely. Oh, it has it has uh, turquoise underneath. Ooh, now it's orange with a spot of turquoise in the middle. We'll leave that. That looks pretty. All right. Ta-da! I'm done. I'm leaving it. I am pretty dang happy with it. I've decided that this is the top and that's the bottom. Um, it's cosmic, it's happy looking. Let me get you, let me wipe off my hands, get you the guys down. I'm completely out of paint, so it's just enough paint. And uh, yeah, I can clean up and uh, clean off my counter and start prepping for resin work. Um, yeah, let me pop you down, hopefully without turning this off. So there's the uh, overall down closer look. And here's, I guess, what people are talking about um, with the cells, like in here. See, they're just not completely solid masses of color. But then in other areas, like in here, I mean, look at those guys. They're, they're, it's just amazing. And the whole thing's so colorful that it just somehow works. I like my stripes. Um, I like the composition very much. Um, I like this big turquoise cell there with the orange underneath. I mean, I think any other time, um, I, I wouldn't be happy with the cells, but the whole thing is so shimmery and glowy too from the iridescence too. That That's helping the cause a lot too. There's the one corner. Um, I love this whole section that the blue and the green are, are just it's just amazing so where else can I go over here and uh, yeah super super cool anyway I like it All right. I hope you guys like it did I get the paint off my face yeah uh, that's it for me tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I have a bug to do. I haven't done one in months and months is um, a Dutch pour. So uh, I think that'll be my next video. So uh, I'll see you guys in a day or two. Uh, thanks for the love and support. Like, subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye.